Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. Got a mammoth for you today. First, we're gonna start out with how far apart the feet are. It's a block in like two clicks apart. And that's how far apart the feet are. This total build will cost you right around 500 bucks. And then there's two blocks in between the front and the back feet. Just like that. A whole bunch of bricks. Kinda had fun building this one. I like the, the looks of it at the end. It's really cute. So here the, the top of the mammoth is larger than the back so I'm just going to taper this down a little bit. Be so kind, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, pretty please, if you haven't already. So I do use three types of brown on here, one of them being the barrier. So if you click on the barrier and then select color and then without pressing OK go to one of the blocks or bricks and then select OK then it will change that color of that block to the barrier. Here's where I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of blocks, bricks. This will be the skirt. Kind of like the fur of the, the beast. It looks kind of like the skirt at the end. You know, just fur. So I do move them a little bit and make them not so looking like that. <laughs> but to start, just do it like mine and don't place the bricks over each other because you're painting them different colors. Just a few of them. Just a few of them different colors. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Sorry, it's nighttime, I forgot my candle. This will be just a copy of the other side. For now, do change it. some pricks on top just to make it nice and flat and then the skirt here in the back 
well. I keep seeing skirt, but they actually prefer. And it's okay if it's uneven, because it just adds more realistic look to it. Do the same thing to the front. So the top here is going to add a few more bricks going down the back and starting on the head here. head. I think I do add a couple more bricks to the front. Uh, it's night time again. It's always night dead. When you're building, it's like daytime is only two minutes and nighttime is 20. Sliding the three more blocks in here, all the way to the back. Do four more in the front, and this will be his head. Now I can work on his trunk. Here goes Joy hopping away. A sandwich. Okay, so I do move this back a couple clicks, the barrier, just because uh, the trunk didn't look thick enough to me. So I'll put it all the way to the ground and then I'll just move it a click up and do the same thing and then another click up so that way it kind of looks like it's getting thinner at the bottom. Okay, so I'm not going to add some fur here again to his head. The front, just kind of like make like mine. The sides, you definitely have to make exactly like mine. 
just because I fit an eyeball in there. So the eyeball is just going to go right underneath this brick here. Uh, maybe I should get on the side. So I'm making space for the eye. That's why I'm doing the bricks exactly like this. Now let's copy that on this side. like that. If you guys have any more ideas for a build, go ahead and um, leave them in the comment section down below. So here I just moved the block back one click and then threw a medium floor plate in there and then threw the book and the black and to get the block back in there you have to look from the front and place it back in and that's where the eyes gonna go do the same thing on the other side just moving the block one click back the medium floor plate and then the book medium floor plate helps just so you're not the book's not sticking out too far, it's kind of flush with it. it. sticks out a little bit. Those are the two normal color browns that you can find on your color wheel. The color brown that I use for the fur is the, the barrier. You guys don't have to use my colors, of course, you can use whatever colors you'd like. Here I'm just going to be making an ear, kind of just like the flaps of the ear, just like that. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now on the top of the head, just gonna be pulling bricks on top. Just gonna kind of get rid of that castle look to his head. <laughs> okay, so here on the top, I just move around those two bricks. Make it nice and flat on top. Now all we got left is the tusks. So I'm gonna place a barrier on the front of his face and one on the floor. Then I'll be placing the bricks on that. This one is just trial and error until I got the kind of the the look I was looking for. I, wanted, I knew I wanted to make him big. That very bottom brick, I do delete that one. It kind of looked too thick at the end. You know, I just I didn't want it. If 
So just copying the same the same thing from the other side. Now I'm going to be throwing some bricks on the inside to make them thicker. Give a little more rugged detail. Again, that very bottom brick that I just moved, I do delete those on both sides. Now here in the front, you're going to have to use a barrier. And I just cut one of the bricks in half. So I'll just put it on a small grid size, cut that brick in half, and then I'll slide another brick in there just so it gives it a tapered look so it's coming more to a point. There we go. And that's done. Just paint them the light gray color. Here I did use the red ish brown color. I changed this one to the barrier. I think the barrier color looks better than the red. So I'm just painting a few of the bricks. Trying to make it look like fur. A little bit of tail, just two bricks. Here I did paint them the barrier color. Now I'm gonna put a thin floor plate down. So here's the floor plate, if I can spell floor. Paint it yellow. I actually got a candle. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna be moving a few, making it look more realistic more give it more detail to the fur I think I only did this to one side just like that and that is the mammoth complete the other side I just left the same I like it this one's super cute it's one of my favorite builds in this house so far Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, pretty please. Till next time, Smashy. Now.